In this video, I will show you how to make a frequency polygon. We need a frequency and a class mark. First, highlight the frequency. And after you highlight all the frequencies, go up here and find the insert chart. So since we will put this data into frequency polygon or line chart, we have to change this histogram to line chart. So go to chart type, click it, and here are the suggested table. And we have line chart here. Click it, and there you go. First thing that we should do is to label the graph by customizing it. Go to customize, then click chart and axis title. Then click this, you can see chart title, horizontal axis, vertical, and let's have chart title. So the title is frequency polygon of the scores of students in statistics. Then if you want to change the title font, Let's change it. Then size, I'll leave it like that. I want to make it bold. And you could see here left, center, and right. I want to put this at the center and change the color. I want to change it here. And then after that, change the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis is the X axis. And for frequency polygon, we need class mark or mid point. Again, you can change the title font, the font size, make it bold, put it at the center, and change the color since I picked this. I want everything like this. And then go back again, click here, and change the vertical axis title. And the vertical axis title is always the frequency. This is your Y axis. Then bold. Change it. There you go. So this time we will put the value of the class mark or the midpoint from customize. Go to setup. And here you could see X axis. Add X axis. Click here. And then select a data range click this and then let's go up put this on the side and we will highlight the class mark from 93 down to 282 and then hit ok then let's go down and there you go so the midpoint is from 93 to 282 but we have here 100 to 150, and these are not the midpoint that we are looking for. So I want you to look at the X, and there is a word aggregate. I want you to click that, and once you click it, we have now all the midpoints, 93, 120, 147, up to 282. All right, and then if you want to... Customize the frequency again. Let's go back here in the customize. Let's hide the chart and axis title. I want you to go to vertical axis and go down. Then we will put the minimum and the maximum value. So let's start from 0 and ends with 16 because the frequency is up until 14. There you go. We have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So let's hide again the vertical axis by clicking it. So if you want to put a major line, again, go down, click grid lines and tick. Then again, if you want to click the major, the minor, if you want to change the color, you want to make it like this, minor tick. Then if you want to change the color, it's up to you. 
then click again and then if you want again change the color it's up to you how about this you can change this by double clicking it change the color if you want to make it orange or whatever color you want to, to use it's up to you the font size the point circle if you want to put a triangle if you want to change it to square or the star but usually we are using circle here so what else do we need here if you want to know the error bar do that but we don't need it the data labels there you go this point is 93 8 120 to 13 and also if you want to change none or put value that is fine and you could also change the position if you want it at the center but I don't like it if you want to put at the left right below but usually we put that above the decimal point or the point itself so again you can actually play around if you want to put a trend line this is decreasing but we don't need it at this point we just need a frequency polygon with the label class midpoint frequency and all this thing so this is how you make a frequency polygon from a frequency distribution table so if you think that this is helpful please give me a thumbs up consider yourself subscribe and share this video to those people who need it happy learning bye bye